Arkansas is different, Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> Arkansas is different, Bubba. <laughs> is that it? That's it. That's great. All right. Welcome back to Raccoon Tweeties. Thanks for tuning in. Ever heard of it? I'm just throwing it out there. What, Whenever the podcast now. name? Yeah, just every, every time. It's I getting get on my nerves, not by you, but like everyone. What do you mean? The people, when people say that now. <clears throat> oh, in real life? Yeah. You, Where have you heard you, it in the wild? No, stand up. I'm talking about stand up. People do it in stand up? Yeah, because you're out here doing it every fucking week. Dude. People are copying me? Yeah. That's messed up, dude. Yeah, they're taking Kratom and they're copying you. You know who I'm talking about. I'm doing it ironically. Oh, you mean Shab? No. Who? Oh, oh, Christian? Yeah. He's, he tagged me in a clip, but he never even said anything like that. The clip mentions nothing. Oh, we did. Some, one of our friend, fans commented, uh, ever heard of it? On Christian's clip? <laughs> yeah. Why? Because I commented, did you watch the clip? Yeah, he's talking about boys and having boys. Yeah, and wearing a uh, cowboy hat botas, and boots. Botas. He's like, in order to have a boy, you hit the fucking cowboy hat and boots. Yeah. And I put, uh, I wear that when I masturbate. Okay. And then somebody said, ever heard of it? And then he tagged you, I think. Yeah, he tagged me. He said, I'm saying it on stage. But then I watched the clip excited to see it, him say it on stage. And then there was nothing. <laughs> it was, a, I felt uh, grifted or like uh, yeah. click baited yeah. into, I was going to enjoy seeing Christian do a Shabbism. I had no idea which one it was. <laughs> and then nothing. And the other day on the open mic, you were like, Gerardo forces me to watch Brendan Schaub and <laughs> Brian Callen. I, yeah, that was, I was just throwing it out there as a way to start the bit. <laughs> but honestly, that bit is, I changed it now. I don't mention Shab or Callan. Now it's actually getting some laughs. Okay. So I'm excited for it. That's yeah. good. So watch out for that, Hawk. <laughs> a new bit. A new bit alert. <laughs> Boner alert. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. I miss it. Like, there's not a chance I'm ever going to. You want me to do it now? No. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to do it? I like it when it's just my, me talking. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. I always think that because you go like this afterwards, you go, because like, I thought you were mad that I missed it. No. no. Oh, okay. No, no. How you been, dude? Pretty good. Um, let's see. What's going on with me? Same old, same old. You know, work, working every seven days a week, making sure that I'm always shooting on the stars, landing for the moon, um, 434 every morning mm. uh, before my enemies. What if your enemies start waking up earlier? Um, you know what? Then they're going to be too tired. Because earlier than four thirty four, that's crazy. Oh, okay. At that point, you're you know you're not even yeah. not barely awake. Mm -hmm. It's it's still nighttime. B, get some nap, <laughs> get some sleepies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what uh, what? Yeah, that's it for me. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. I was just wondering if you're gonna like check in on me at all, dude. Yeah, I've been I'm waiting. Oh. Didn't I ask you that already? No. All right, well, I expect reports, dude, just like every time I see you, tell me how it is, you know? Oh, so, oh, so you're- It's on you, dude, <laughs> so I can go, good. <laughs> Whatever you say, that's going to be the answer probably. Good? Yeah. <laughs> have you uh, have you gone out to eat recently or no? Um, I usually go out with my girlfriend, everyone, but I, can't, I don't have like a solid recent memory of it. Oh, you know? okay. Are you a, an appetizer boy or no? Uh, yeah, I love apps. Yeah. Oh, okay. All Me too, them. dude. Yeah, all about them. You know, there's a lot more in common than indifferent. You know what I mean? Me and you. <laughs> indifferent? Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot more. We have a lot more in common than we have different. Look for the similarities, not the differences is what I always right, right, say. Right. I always say that. Right. I watch Shab. I'm like, yeah, that is Mortal Kombat, dude. You know? <laughs> well, it, there was a little bit Shabanese there when he said indifferent. Yeah. You know, but... I had to call you out on that. But okay, can, can let me know. No, Continue. yeah, appetizers are amazing. But mm -hmm. you know what happens when you order an appetizer, right? Uh, they should bring it before the meal. Thank you, dude. Right? Did a server bring you out everything at once? Yeah, dude. Where was now? This? You understand why I'm so upset. 
Yeah, yeah, because yeah. you tweeted earlier about uh, how servers are not your friends. I'm glad you fucking brought yeah. that up, dude, because I'll show the people. I'm mm-hmm. out here. It's me to servers. I am not your friend, dude. <laughs> All right. I like how you, you but you asked me if I'd seen this tweet. Yeah. As if it was like either referenced me mm-hmm. or was a big thing. And then I went to your Twitter. It was your last week. I had one like. And I was <laughs> like, well, how would I have seen that? And I gave it I gave it a like. So now it's two. I'm always looking for the similarities, not the differences, right? <laughs> the indifferent. But, <laughs> you're like the similarities, not now you have to go indifferent. No, I'm now looking, it's a thing for the show. I'm looking for similarities, right? I'm looking for the indifferences. <laughs> and not the differences, right? Right. But that's the difference to me and you, dude. I don't give a fuck about likes, dude. Look it, it's 8.53 p.m., dude. <laughs> After a, your enemies woke up. That yeah, was your first on, mistake. On a Friday. Mm-hmm. I'm out here just letting you know, dude. So I am not your friend, dude. <laughs> where, where was the... Or do you mind mentioning the restaurant? I do not mind mentioning the restaurant okay. because I no longer have any fucking interest in going for the for the short term right right which which restaurant has been good douched gus's barbecue dude in south pasadena oh you love that place i love that place yeah yeah interesting okay um well I, at some point you should set the scene but before you do that can you tell me what appetizers you ordered salad dude come on your boy is eating kiwis nonstop, and i gotta let myself you know let loose a little bit so first you're probably let down that they don't have kiwis on the menu that was i mean the first try that right. was the last time i went there i confronted the manager <laughs> about that but it's all good all right so tell the story i want to hear it so i fucking ordered two dude two salads caca right and a, <laughs> some fucking brisket dude brisket's amazing yeah brisket's very good and the lady was like okay do you want me to split the salads and i was like dude yeah thank you right mm-hmm. so me and my girl could try both and then she's like, all right. And then you want the salads first and then the entree later. And I'm already thinking to myself, like, that, like I should not even answer that question because, duh, right? No, mm-hmm. I want salad with brisket, dude. Get the fuck out of here, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. And so bring me the salad first, dude. That's it. I so you like, told her, bring me the salad first. Yeah. I and was she like, made a point yeah. of asking, too. Mm-hmm. Okay. She, made, she She's the one bringing both these things up. I'm like, yeah, dude, do your job, dude. I'm not your friend, dog. Right. Right. Let's give her a name. Uh, Sally. Sally. Okay. Yeah. I was going to think Mrs. Whole Foods, but that's too long. Mrs. Whole Foods. Is but her ever, last name is Whole, Sally Whole Foods. Is there any, are there any women names in the shop of her so we can give her? Annie. Okay. We'll call her Annie. Okay. Yeah. Let's call her Annie. I mean, Sally was good too, but it's all good. Dude. Sally is, but who's Sally though, right? <laughs> you know, who's ever heard of that? Okay. This is, her name's Annie now. <laughs> but continue. What happened with Annie? And so Annie was like, you got it. Right. And Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, all right, she's on her way to 20% right now, dude. Right. 20% right now. Cause you're fucking making it, you're making it happen right now, dude. Mm -hmm. I got myself some sprinkling water, sparkling, Mm -hmm. sprinkling, sprinkling, uh, sparkling water, (laughs) a little bottle of that. Right. I'm at, it's an Italian restaurant now, dude. Right. (laughs) Okay. And then uh, guess what happens, dude? You already know. I don't have to tell you what happens, dude. She bring out this and this, and I'm going to change her name to Kalila now, but so Kalila bring out the salad with the brisket, even after. True, asking, but all of what it. What was together. the first question she asked? Um, Should the, I split the, water, the salads? Oh, so, and she didn't split the salad. Didn't split the salads, and all the food came at once, dude. That's so weird. Mm-hmm. And she's walking out there with the whole thing. No, it was two people bringing in. That was not Sally, Kalila, or Annie, dude. Okay, so it sounds like what happened maybe is that Kalila maybe told them, but they didn't listen. But right? this is, uh, and aside from the story I'm telling here, dude, mm-hmm. if the waiter brings my food, that's another 5%, dude. 25% now, dude. Yeah, the, the waiter bringing it instead yeah. of just like uh, the But busters, if it's some so random fucking I host bringing my food, mm-hmm. you went down 5%, dude. I, so I want to name everybody in the story now because it's starting to be fun yeah. for me. So Kalila is the waitress and then mm-hmm. Little Esther and... Annie bring out your food, but they bring it out all wrong. Annie's not, she's not split the salad. A little Esther has a bad attitude going on. They mm-hmm. just plop it down on the thing. They don't even know. Are you sharing the brisket? Yeah. yeah. Do they bring plates to share the brisket? No. All right. Now it's just crazy. Yeah. dude. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah. You're supposed to eat it off the same plate. Yeah. Do they ask you if you want plates? They asked me if I wanted to split the salad. And I was like, yeah, dude, split the salads. And typically when we go to Gus's, we get two salads and a meat, Mm -hmm. right? Whatever the fucking meat is. And they always do that. They always have the two side plates. They bring out the salads first that are split because we want to try two different salads. You know what I mean? So if I'm Kalila in this scenario, I'm coming, I'm, you know, I've told Annie and 
asked her to bring out the food. I've told them all the instructions. At some point, I'm going to come check on you guys and be like, hey, is everything good? Yeah. Or at least look. And I'm going to notice that there's no plates for you Mm -hmm. to eat. Did you ask for plates eventually again? I mean, do you want me to put a fucking apron on, dude? You know what I mean? (laughs) What did you do? You just ate it off. You ate the salad off one plate and you ate the brisket off one plate? Yeah, basically. That's crazy. Yeah. Did she ever come and ask you, like, hey, how's everything going? (laughs) She tried, dude. But she's getting nothing more from me, dude. (laughs) Every question that you've asked me so far has ended in disappointment. If she came up to me in that scenario and she's like, how's it going? I would look at her and I'd be like, how do you think it's going? (laughs) Duh. She'd be like, what? (laughs) Tell me, duh. This is my Tom Segura moment, dude. They fucking asked me to check my goddamn carry-on, basically, dude. Right. And I'm taking a stand. You're handling it pretty good because Tom Segura called her like a, all these names, right? Oh, you weren't there, dude. <laughs> you were cursing in the restaurant? Yeah. Right. How loud? Segura's a duck, dude. Yeah, I was a no. fuck. <laughs> hey, what did you do? Uh, nothing. No, I'm just joking. But yeah. I just, dude, I was so upset. And then, so this is, let me explain to you what happened, right? Mm-hmm. So now you know all three things came at once without any, any splitting of the salads. Mm-hmm. It's the smallest table you ever seen in your life. The fucking circa this size, dude, right? Mm-hmm. So we got three big ass plates on the tiny ass fucking Fucking goddamn table, right? Sorry, mm-hmm. that was hard to say. I don't know why. So there's no even plates. There's no room for other plates. No. Damn, you were at a kind of a duck table. I mean, they switched. Yeah. Can we, this are, are there any tables for hawks? Well, here? it's a Friday night at the fucking South Pasadena's finest barbecue establishment, dude. Mm-hmm. All right. So. I picture they put you in. <laughs> and they they looked at you there and they made stop you saying sit. my girlfriend's oh, name. Sorry, sorry, dude. sorry. I meant they looked. At, you got to blink that out. Um, they put you at a table like this, and you were sitting there like trying to fucking yeah, the, yeah, a real duck table. <laughs> Yep. That's messed up. So they brought the three things out, right? Mm. And then I was like, I, I was perplexed. I don't really use that word often, so you know that right. it was true, right? Yeah. And I was like, oh, I thought you guys were going to, and because this is the first question she asked, I was like, oh, I thought you guys were going to split the salads. And then the Esther, not Annie, right? Yeah. Was like, oh, oh, and you wanted the entree later? I'm like, so wait, everyone knew? What the fuck? What do you mean? <laughs> And then I was like, no, 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 no. And she was like, I'll take it back. We'll, we'll burn it uh, to bring it back out or burn it or whatever the term is. That's like, hilarious. If they said burn it, like it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Keep me out of your kitchen sling. Okay. I know you guys, I know you guys are watching the bear back there and yeah. you know, yes, chef, no chef and all this <laughs> stuff, but leave it to yourself. Okay. We're, we're civilians. <laughs> yeah. All right. Only a thousand can do what you do. I think she said, we'll throw it on the burners. Fuck that. Yeah. You want to throw my food on the burners? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Get out of your Hulu mindset. Mm-hmm. The, we're two customers. You don't talk to me like that. Yeah. I don't want you to harm my food. I want hey, the food I, to taste good. I was like, hey, Mrs. Be fresh. Android user, <laughs> don't put my food on the burners, dude. Yeah. It's like, listen, freaking Edo, Ed- Edaberry or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> What's that woman's name? She's good. She's great. I don't you know, know what I'm talking about. No. The person from the Hulu. Good. She won an award and all that. But anyways. So, yeah. and yeah. then I was like, no, no, no. And she was like, no, I'll put, I'll take, she wanted to take the food away now. Isn't yeah. that like illegal, dude? You got, when you bring food out, you got to leave it. You can't, right? Oh. Yeah. I mean, you want it to be fresh and sir. Ayo is her name, but you want it to be fresh and, uh, you know, ready to go. You yeah. don't want like, you want to reheat the food you just made? No. Yeah. No. But also the table is too small. So you should have split it because we can only, we only have enough space to like eat salad at once. Yeah. So I would have said, um, yeah, you fucked up from the beginning. Okay. Yeah. We need to restart this whole thing. The whole thing was a wash. Dude. Throw that out half off. Yep. Bring out, you know, bring out the chef. Nah, I'm not, not bring out the chef, but throw it out half off. I probably wouldn't have said this, but in an ideal scenario, that's maybe what happened. And to bring it back around, dude, guess who I'm indifferent about now? Gus is dude. Yeah. You used to love that place. Dude. I would talk about it all the time with you. Yeah. We used to go all the time. Not yeah. anymore. I'll tell you that right now. I've never dined in there. I've only gotten takeout. And you know what, dude? I'll stand on this shit, dude. I'm standing on business right standing now, on dude. on business. That's right. Uh, I didn't tip. Zero percent, dude. Whoa. First time ever. First time ever. Wow. Yeah. Shit. That's mm-hmm. crazy. I always tip. I mean, sometimes I'm like, fuck. Why did I do that? They yeah. don't deserve this money. I pre- didn't I tip. Yeah. Well, they did pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. And I generously tip sometimes, dude, because, you know, the percentage adds up, B, right? Mm-hmm. Your boy's got dollars in the bank. <laughs> like, not a lot. No, I'm yeah. saying, like, dollars. You're not a numbers guy. Yeah, no, no, no. no. I'm not a money guy. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then he, sometimes service is so good, I'm like, let's overdraft today, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I, I'll tip You said you didn't tip more. and you tweeted. Yeah. You let the world know how you feel. Yeah, dude, check it out. That's exactly how it feels, dude. I am not. 
I am not your friend, dude. That tweet, though, it's kind of funny because like, I am not your friend. Uh, are you are you saying you're not friends with servers now that this happened before you were? No, it's just a general feeling. Like right. I'm really good at tapping into the human psyche, and that's what it right. feels like. You're, do you feel like? I am not your friend. Be, like, explain explain this tweet to me. The only problematic thing about this tweet is that I wasn't really positive on how to spell friend. So, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know if the E came it. first, the I came first. You know what <laughs> no, I mean? No, you got it. You nailed it. Do you ever have that feeling where you're like, wait a minute, how do you spell fiend? Right? Um, Not that specific word, but yeah, words like that. Yeah. Like, maybe like... um, Like, believe? Like, what, what the fuck? What are we doing here? So you have an IE thing, it sounds like. Yeah, I do have yeah, an yeah, IE you're thing. You're not sure. Yeah. Inland Empire, baby. No, no, no. What's up? <laughs> right? <laughs> um, no, so uh, basically what I'm saying is, dude, I, I appreciate when it's real, dude. I want you to be so fake as a server that I'm convinced this is who you are. Like right? a TFAT K intern fake. Yeah. Yeah, like, I love this place. Yes. I don't, it doesn't matter to me that you haven't paid me in three weeks. Yes. I'm cool with that. My, you know what I have a problem with? It's not the IE spelling. It's R when there are two R's in something. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm always like, are there, is there one R now, career, or is there two R's later? Yeah. How many R's? I'm putting like three R's in that. Yeah. When you put three R's in there, that's when you're in the shop territory. Yeah. Right? There's never a word with three R's. <laughs> I mean, there probably is, but I mean like back to back. You know, you know what I mean? You know yeah. what I'm talking about. Dude, that was a really good way of putting it. That's yeah. th- Always remember, that's the rule. Fuck I before E except after C, whatever that is. Dude, there's never three R's in a <laughs> word. <laughs> Even though there clearly is. Um, but yeah, no, so you're an IE guy. I'm an RR guy. I, I know there's other things. I was going to say restaurant because a lot of people have trouble spelling mm-hmm. that word, but I never do, dude. That's a great I always, Patrice O'Neill joke. restaurant. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Spell restaurant. And he's like, ar, ar. <laughs> Yeah, that's one that I can't relate. So Patrice is a restaurant guy. You're yeah. IE. I'm RR. Let us know what you are. Yeah, dude. What words do you struggle with? And let's hear some fake comments, dude. I wonder if it's like a brain thing. Mm. Like you're, something in your brain makes it's Latino, those. yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, there's yeah. a Latino part of your brain. Yeah, A's and O's, I got mm-hmm. it down, dude, because, you yeah. know, I'm I'm genderfied, dude, my fucking language, dude. Well, you know the Spanish alphabet very yeah. well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Abes hecha de fe. I don't. But, oh, okay. uh, yeah, I can't think of any other words that I have trouble with, though. Just those. You know what I have trouble with, dude? The amount of news that happened this week. Do we have a lot of shit to cover? This is going to oh, be a yeah. four-hour episode. Oh, shit. Strap yeah. the fuck in. <laughs> yeah, dude. Are you ready for this? I think so. Do you want to bring up the first thing, the Mark Norman thing? Yeah, let's check that out. That was really weird. Mark Norman was doing a stand-up bit, and uh, then all of a sudden, uh, people came on stage, and then the producers came out. But, you know, let's watch the video. Let's Roll see the here, clip. dude. Okay. All right. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Hey, how are you? What do we got? Mics here? Hey, what's going on? Oh, jeez. Everything all right? Just want to make sure everybody's good here. What's going on? Uh-oh. Oh, boy. You know what I think happened, dude? For sure, the server brought out all three fucking plates <laughs> at once, dude. And that guy just jumped up because he was so pissed. He was like, what the f-? He didn't know what the fuck was <laughs> happening, dude. He's I like, don't know. You brought mod sticks and my fucking wings at the same time, dude? You know, did you jump up when it happened to you? No, but I did go ah, 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 like that. <laughs> and I was kind of confined to my space because there was a gentleman behind me. We were rubbing chairs. <laughs> Dang, Gus, it sounds like it's just too packed in. They're yeah. trying to fit people in there like sardines. Yeah, I don't like that. But uh, here, what do you think happened? Do you tell he's already stormed the stage? We got to watch. I'm going to watch the rest of it. Oh, Let's okay. Get full context here. Hey. Anything can happen at a comedy show. That was some kind of weird swinger sex party thing. Oh, God, somebody got tased. Oh, boy. That weird cut too, dude. Yeah, why? Who posted this originally? Do we know? I think it might have been the fucking production company. Okay, well, they're ducks then. We'll get into that. I really froze there. I went to Mitch McConnell. All right. Oh, 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 okay. All these people filming is weird, too. Everyone yeah. has their phone out. Yeah. Everyone makes content now. Um, yeah. We just had a momentary interruption. Um, uh, just stay, get up, get out the the taping. Um, mm-hmm. guys, please, can we get out or what? Yeah, the camera. Yeah, just, yeah, I'm one of the producers of the show. Um, 
Yeah, we just need everybody to get out, please. Uh, <laughs> Mark's not coming back. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Everything's fine. But you think if anyone's got any photos or video of what just happened? Just yeah. so strange to me. Mm -hmm. Like, so, I mean, what I was reading online was that uh, it's some production company, like, joke thing that they're trying to hype something up. But, like, if you're trying to hype something up, why wouldn't you, why would you wait days? Yeah. Like, this is going to be over by now. Yeah. If you go to my, go to my Twitter. Oh. And, like, just my page. Yeah. Real quick. And we should check that other thing too, but on mine, like I tweeted uh, a picture of the guy. Now I don't have like a big Twitter or anything like that, but like I said, we need this to happen immediately. It's just a joke because people <laughs> have been like tweeting with the hot wings. What is it called? Hot, yeah. hot ones. Yeah. Um, hot ones and celebrities saying we need this to happen immediately. So I did the guy that went on stage and if you scroll down, it only has nine likes. So, yeah. I mean, people have already forgotten. You know what's interesting though? Scroll down even more a little bit. This not the one that says "Wow, R.I.P. Mark Norman." Look at that likes to views ratio. Yeah. Did I get like posted on Reddit or something like that, or like a good douche secretly? Because how does twenty four thousand people seen that only has twenty eight likes? Because it sucked, dude. And maybe it sucks, but it's that's. But even if it sucked, how? Why does most tweets that suck? Not many people see it. Yeah, but dude, my 55 view server tweet only got two likes. <laughs> okay. Beyond that bit. Oh, okay. Beyond sorry, the sorry. bit. Like, that doesn't make sense. Something is going on there. 28,000 or 24,000 people saw it. How did 24,000 people see it? Period. Maybe when they searched Mark Norman, they saw your post. Because mm, everyone's looking up Mark Norman that day. Maybe. But it wasn't even that. Like, that, that was yesterday. So yeah. it's like unlikely that people are doing that i think oh okay yeah that i don't think that explanation makes sense but if anybody knows i just think that's weird isn't that weird everyone i've told is everyone i've told this is like yeah that's crazy yeah i mean i think if people just saw it and they were like fuck cooney dude <laughs> maybe yeah right? i mean twenty four thousand. that doesn't make sense uh but here we got the uh, new york comedy club response it says we received a handful of inquiries regarding a viral clip of our club being evacuated last night first and foremost Nobody was harmed or injured. The disruption was part of a filming by the production company. Uh, they rented out our venue for the night. So since this took on a bit of a wild narrative, if you were in attendance for this taping, we'd love to host you for an actual show for free. So this sounds like the club is blaming the production company, yeah. right? And no Mark Norman did the same thing in a story post. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the club didn't know that they were going to do this crazy bit and release it. And now this is damage control. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, that's I don't know. I and then there was a I was going through Twitter that day, mm. and there was one guy that was like paranormal uh, <laughs> paranormal activity at the New York Comedy Club last right. night. He definitely saw something and then got up and got on stage because he felt safe there. That's like the aliens and ghost people, dude. They're always gonna push in their narrative. Yeah. How do you think flappers would have handled this? Uh, Barb would have got a stern fucking yelling at. Like, or she, she would have yelled yell at, at somebody. somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder. That guy on stage who's like, yeah, we uh, we have to get out. Barb was like, no! They haven't had their two-drink minimum yet! <laughs> yeah. ah! We need to give them milk. Barb would probably keep the com. She'd keep a comedy show going with Hal Sparks during an active terrorist event. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> cut that part out. <laughs> really? No, no, just like me going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, so, like, the terrorists go in and... Um, and and like Hal Sparks is doing some joke and she, and the, the, everybody get on the ground and Barb steps out and I don't know what she, I don't know how she would keep it going but she would try yeah She'd be like, well can we get the checks first she's she's in the back like we're gonna serve your food still <laughs> <laughs> we have a terrorist tag now <laughs> yeah dude no the disruption was part of a filming by at high high the producers that ran a I wonder what what is at high high. Should I'm not gonna go there, dude. You don't want to give them the free press. They're fucking stupid. Yeah, I, I already went to their Instagram. They're stupid, dude. Why? It's just let's do crazy things and get uh, uh let's do crazy things. That's it. So they're like a log they're like the Logan Paul of production companies. I wouldn't say that. I'm not gonna go douche people for no reason. Oh well, like doesn't he do? Didn't he used to do wacky bits all the time? I don't even know. That's what I'm saying. Okay, I, I well no that's how I see it. <laughs> Because I'm pretty sure that guy just would do, like, 
random stunts and stuff like that. So there's like these uh, things that they posted about like they've asked me to do this and it's like a, a detailed list of instructions of what to do yeah. in order to get some reward or something. And then oh, I hate to that. mention hi hi, you know? Oh, I hate that so much. Yeah. I hate these new uh, guys and like companies that it's all prank stuff. I mean, I hate prank. When that YouTuber, there was a YouTube pranker that he was like bullying somebody in a mall and then the guy pulled out a gun and shot him. <laughs> I was honestly like, good, yeah. good, 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 caca. Man, I'm a, I've had enough. Like, obviously, you shouldn't kill people, but I, can we like, there's too many of these prank videos. And there was one that, I think we talked about on the show a little bit. There was like one that went to fourth wall and they did some sort of prank where the guy was like bullying people into him doing, listening to him doing stand up or something. I don't think that's funny. Oh yeah, dude. And, and it's only getting worse. Have you seen that Latina that would, uh, she went to the Walmart and broke her own TV. No, it, it's, it's such yeah. cringy now. Not funny to me. Or like the ones where people are like, what's your body count? Oh yeah. Man on the street. I've had enough of that. That's terrible. Um, Hey, how long have you guys been dating? Oh, yeah. I, do you think interracial relationships are okay? What's going yeah. on? Yeah. Why are we doing this? Was Martin Luther King a real person? <laughs> that, w- that would be a good one. No, I don't think so. <laughs> um, yeah, man, dude, I, d- I really don't like that shit. So yeah. that's kind of what this is. That's like another terrible thing that's coming into comedy. Yep. That everybody doing crowd work videos, Matt Reif, and now even it's getting even worse. This is the logical progression of crowd work video culture this is late stage audience participation yeah you know Mm -hmm. it's pretty soon the comedian is going to ask you to ask them what's on their phone the comedian is going to hand you a phone and and then you're supposed to know to be like who's jill from bumble yeah are you gay (laughs) the comedian is gonna be like oh check my photos and then it's a bunch (laughs) of pictures of him with wacky haircuts like why did i get this haircut (laughs) that's good that's good it's a, they check my phone, check my phone. And then it's a picture of the comedian jacking off <laughs> or a video of them checking on. They're like, huh. oh my God. Oh, yeah, what's on there? It's like, <laughs> it's you jacking off to me. They have an inception. <laughs> that was reminds me of the time where like one time when I was at an open mic, I want the this guy asked me to film him. And I so badly wanted to like put a picture as his background of like, somehow like somehow getting a picture of me and his parents or something and posting it on the fuck or something crazy like that. Yeah. So in a way I'm like them. I want to do bits too. Yeah. But it's too much, man. Like just if you really want people to follow your shit, make something good. Yeah. It doesn't need to be a fake ghost or Mark, the bomb threat of Mark Norman of all people. Yeah. He's like, ah, oh, what's going on? Uh. Well, <laughs> Look at look at somebody got dang. Can you imagine that's the last thing you hear before you die in a terrorist event? No. Mark Norman going, What? <laughs> wow. It's guys with guns. <laughs> We're gonna get killed. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> on the floor, everyone on the floor. We're you're, you're under attack. We're hostage. You're hostages. Oh wow, we're hostages. Oh wow, look at that. And he has some sort of like quip about the word hostage. <laughs> hostages. <laughs> what was that thing he did? Carrie Underwood or whatever yeah. the Carrie Underwood yeah. thing. The last thing you hear. Well, when you right before you're killed by a ghost is Mark Norman doing wordplay puns. <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. Like, oh my god, look at this ghost over yeah. here! I wish I was as good at. I'll give him credit; he's good at that, and I am not. I can't think of anything on the fly. Terrorist. Uh, <laughs> That's what he says. Don't boo me. That's the ghost thing. If it's a ghost, he's like, "Don't boo me," and then the <laughs> ghost kills you <laughs> or kills your. The last thing you hear before the ghost kills your wife is "Don't boo me." <laughs> Wife's dead. <laughs> it's the same thing with the uh, the mall and the aliens. Did you hear about that? Uh, shit or throat splitter? No, my in okay. Miami. No, is there mall aliens? No. So there was this thing that went viral about like somebody. Okay, so what really happened was like kids were stealing shit at the Miami mall, mm. but there was a huge police response. Like a whole like street of cars were just police cars. Mm-hmm. And then there was this grainy video on Twitter of three people walking side by side. But with the graininess, it looked like some fucking Godzilla, mini Godzilla <laughs> walking. So like they were like, there was an, uh, there was one black dude that made a video saying that there was a alien at the Miami mall, but he was joking. And then that shit went viral 
And then he was like, hey, I was playing around, dude. Like That's so interesting to me. While you were telling that story, it made me think back to what we were talking about before this, the, all the AI shit. And I was kind of gadooshing it a little bit. But now that I think about it, it all kind of sounds like re- redoings of that old Orson Welles bit. You know how he did the radio show about the alien invasion? War of the Worlds. Where he, War of the Worlds where he just read off the book. Yeah. But people thought it was real. And and then that's like uh, like it was a big, like interesting idea for him to do that. That's kind of what people are doing with AI, almost. Like that story you just told is essentially the same thing, right? Yeah, but Boom. Um, but <laughs> I don't think AI was involved, though. I know, but like oh, AI, okay. fake pictures, yeah. fake... Fake fucking Fake content. Bomb it's all like shit. the same kind of thing, right? Yeah. Fake bomb threats. It's like prank, like aliens, fucking ghosts or whatever things to mess with people and be like, oh, is it real? What is it? And to think about yeah. what it could be. And then it creates a thing. So maybe I'm being a little too negative here. Mm. I'm going to pull back. I, I am negative on the show, so I'm a bit of a hater. I don't know if you met me. Hi, my name is Brandon Cooney. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, that that that's a, uh, I never thought about it like that. Yeah. But this, I mean, the, <laughs> the way, the, the, if the crowd is, their reactions are real. Oathman, I was talking to him about, he made a good point where the, the producer and that woman in specific uh, did a very bad job of like calming them down. Like, um... You know, what, sit on your seats or leave. Uh, just get out. What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what are yeah. we supposed to do there, dude? That is crazy. There was another video of the guy getting thrown into a car, but the car said hi hi on it. Oh. Yeah. So they're not even doing a good job of hiding it. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. What my question is, why haven't they released anything yet? It's been days. I mean, this they released this and then Mark Norman gave it a corporate the response. The club did to- and Mark Norman. But what about hi hi? We haven't heard from them. I uh, I don't want to hear from them, dude. I'm not saying we, they've done enough. I want to I do I want to know like okay, well, what's the point then? Yeah, they haven't gotten anything out of it. They've gotten a lot out of it. So, so many people have probably searched their goddamn. Oh, hi, so that's it. There's not going to be any more development. They're not going to be like, yeah, it was a prank. At least, yeah, we're just this is going to be like fucking uh, OJ Simpson for like you never really know. I mean, we'll obviously kill them, but like you don't actually know. Yeah. For the rest of the time, we're never going to know what happened. We're all just going to think it was a prank and that's it. Mm-hmm. That's so boring. Yeah. That's weird. Everything about it sucks. It's stupid. Yeah. Well, I mean, the clip made me laugh when I watched it. I was like, whoa, that's crazy. Yeah. That's why I said RIP Mark Norman because like obviously he's alive. But I thought <laughs> it was funny to say he's dead. He was killed in the clip. As I was tweeting, I was like, I might get a douche for this, but then thankfully no one knows who I am. However, 24,000 people saw it. So I think what my guess, see, this is kind of like I'm guessing on this. My guess is that someone quote tweeted me to all their followers and they're all gadooshing me. But that doesn't make sense because they would comment on the tweet, hey, you're an asshole. So how have so many people seen it? I don't know, dude. It's part of Hi 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 did it. Yeah. (laughs) Hi Hi was like. They're pulling a prank on me for no reason because clearly they don't care what happens. They do things for no reason. They don't even care. There's no response or anything like that how what and what is it going when are they going to talk about it i, I think know. it's weird dude i think you got ratioed and you can't handle it well i did how would i get ratioed <laughs> no one replied dude exactly <laughs> that dude. doesn't make sense that's not ratio i'd rather have people boo me or no no no. yeah uh, the worst part of stand-up comedy yeah. or jokes is indifference dude a lot of people were indifferent about your <laughs> now you know what the word indifferent means yeah <laughs> That you're, I you're, I think that what you're saying is funny, but it also makes zero sense. No, it's impossible. That so that's does your the fucking case. tweet, dude. <laughs> that's Im- well, the, my tweet makes sense, but it's impossible that that many people saw it and said nothing. Mm-hmm. That makes zero sense because when people see it, they either have they either get angry at it or they don't. There's why they can't tweets work as like they. The more people see it, the more it's retweeted and liked, right? Yeah. So it's impossible for a tweet with that low like count to be seen that much. They wouldn't allow you to see it if it's not, you know what I mean? But also you're a duck that paid for verified, so. But does that, verified doesn't mean people see it more, does it? Yeah, it does. Oh, really? Yeah. Ah. So if I were to search Mark Norman, you would pop up before somebody else that's not verified. Oh, does that help a lot? I, I'm assuming I didn't pay for it. No. Okay. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, I haven't noticed any of that. <laughs> I, li- I paid for it because I like editing tweets. Yeah. Wait. And also, like, no ads, right? Oh, are there ads on the regular Twitter? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. What are they, like, just, oh, okay. Yeah, I guess I don't even know about that because I'm kind of, you know, above yeah. you. <laughs> A hawk. 
<laughs> but, You're scrolling through ads, no one's seeing your tweets about how you hate waiters. Kind of sucks for you. You heard about that Mr. Beast thing or no? Oh, yeah. You mean people retweeting him to get 10, whatever the money is, whatever? Um, No, the, like he wanted to post a video on Twitter. Oh. You heard about this or no? No, I haven't heard about that. So Elon was like, hey, post a video on Twitter, see how it does monetarily, right? Okay. But then there's like this controversy because Mr. Beast was like, yo, I'm posting this video to see how much I get paid and I'll share the results next week, right? Mm -hmm. So he posted it and then Elon, or, you know, allegedly... He put that out as an ad, but without having the labeled ad thing. But if you were to like hit the three dots in the corner, you could see like mute this or restrict this ad mm -hmm. kind of thing. So he basically pumped it out so that Mr. Beast would post more on Twitter. And then he posted the results and he made so much money off of whatever millions of views. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was like, yeah, but it feels like it's fabricated kind of thing. Hmm. You didn't hear about that? No. <clears throat> yeah. So basically people were getting this video over and over in their feed but they're like, dog, why am I seeing this for like the eighth time? And then there was like controversy about it and stuff like that. Oh, I didn't even, that's funny because I'm always on Twitter. And I didn't even see it. What is, what is the video? Just Mr. Beast talking? It's an old video he made way back in the day that he just reposted to see how it would do on Twitter. And how much money did he make? Uh, let me look it up for you really quick. Okay. Keep talking. I don't make any money. After, I haven't done the monetize or whatever it is. Um, or like have people subscribe to it. I can't imagine ever doing that unless I get like a bajillion followers. That does seem like kind of an easy way to make money, I guess. Yeah. A lot of the people that do that though, they seem like they're kind of like the, they're like edge lords of whatever political, I like both left and right. It's like the people who ask you so, to subscribe, they'll be like, um, Israel is the worst place on earth. They all deserve to die. And then subscribe to my whatever or, Palestine is the worst place on earth. They all deserve to die. Subscribe to my thing. It's a lot of like hate. Yeah. Okay. So I think he made 250,000. Um, that was the one I saw. Wait, scroll up a little bit more. This is the, not a little bit more. Um, this is the one I saw. Yeah. Cause every like open micer I know is like, Oh, I'm not above this. <laughs> yeah. They have $250,000. Thankfully none of them won. Okay, my first X video made 250000 but it's a bit of a facade. Advertisers saw the attention it was getting and thought ads on my video, I think, and bought ads on the video. Thus, my revenue per view is probably higher than what you'd expect. He got $263,000. Um, yeah, $263, this guy's a family is going to be kidnapped soon if he keeps saying how much money he has. <laughs> but, oh, so that was the thing. I just yeah. didn't know it had anything to do with the video. I didn't share it or retweet it, so I had no idea what he was talking about. Yeah. Anyways, just a... Uh, I thought that was interesting. People trying to get clout for no fucking reason, dude. Yeah. yeah, I guess like sort of like an explorer of social media. He's looking into like, what will happen if I do this on this? He's kind of like Andrew Schultz without the racist uh, bad material yeah. and stupid voice. <laughs> and then you were telling me about this. What happened here? Okay, yeah. So this is another Twitter thing. So last night I woke up uh, early in the morning, couldn't sleep. Mm. Um I don't know. Yeah. And I was like trying to go back to sleep. So I just started doom scrolling and I found this tweet from, I don't know, some personality that was pretending to be Megan the Stallion. Ever heard of her? She's like a rapper. Um, and she was uh, getting into it with Nicki Minaj, another rapper. I know that's right. Hey, hello, Mr. Schultz. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nicki Minaj is uh, Andrew Schultz's old uh, stage name, right? Um, like you said so eloquently on last week's episode, yeah. he goes from being an old black man to right. a young black woman. Right, right, yeah. right. Exactly. No, well said, well said. Mm -hmm. um, you said it, you said it. What's that? You said it, you said oh, it. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I don't mean to compliment myself. But I would meant like you bringing it oh, up. Oh, okay, like gotcha, gotcha. So what happened? Too. So I was reading this tweet and it was like, they're, they have like a beef, uh, the two of them. I don't know what it's about because I was trying to read the tweet and Nicki Minaj, I don't know if you can pull it up, but she is like, you're talking on my dead mom, mother, or dead family, you serpent, and all this. And I I don't, I couldn't figure out what the, and then there's something about being, Nicki Minaj is pregnant, and like, the, Megan the Stallion was telling her to drink and get an abortion or something like that. Jesus Christ. But it was like all, like, I just couldn't understand a word of it. <laughs> I, I was reading tweet after tweet, and it was just getting more confusing. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, 
Because I don't, uh, I mean, I don't listen to Nicki Minaj or um, Megan the Stallion's music. So obviously I don't have a lot of context for it, but I was just like, whoa, they're beefing and I can't understand like why. Let's see. Um, he, he, she's a good douche and Ben Shapiro. I just listened to Ben Shapiro, not bad. Congrats on number one. <laughs> but it, it def sounds like Roman's Revenge when the beat first came in. I don't know. I don't know what Roman's Revenge is either. Me neither. She's deep in the game, B. She tweets a lot, though. Yeah, she tweets way Did she too delete much. all of her Meg the Stallion stuff already? Megan's Law for a free beat. You could hit Megan Raw. What? Okay, well, that sounds like a diss, I think. it's It rhymes, though, so it doesn't really hurt if it rhymes. It doesn't yeah. hurt more if it rhymes. She's saying that you can have sex with Megan the Stallion without a condom. Yeah. Interesting. Let's see here. There it is. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Scroll down. Scroll, scroll. Uh, oh. This one. This what? one. She keeps calling her a serpent. Mm. Like, that's a weird... And I don't know who Party is. But she... This Maybe is the, one the, of... That's how she thinks you spell parody. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> what a disgusting serpent. Y'all post party song under this. They paid to make it disappear. Let's go. Lying on your dead mother is insane too, but party said it. So that's the tweet. Did I click on that one? Yeah. This is the person I originally saw. This I'm shocked that still nobody caught this. Nikki Ben told us this. The beef didn't stem from WAP. That's wet ass pussy. I know yeah. that. Heard that song. I know that's right. I actually enjoyed that song. Yeah. Uh, Nikki was actively trying for a baby. Here's the thing. When I listened to that song, and then Ben Shapiro hated that song. Mm -hmm. He was just talking about him. When I listen to that song, um, Cardi B, her verse, I thought it was a lot better than Nag the Stallion. There was, in my opinion, I don't mm. know if you heard it. Do you have an opinion on that? I don't have an opinion on the right. WAP the song. <laughs> <laughs> Just, well, that's my opinion. Nikki was actively trying for a baby, and Megan kept trying to encourage her to drink, and suggested that she could get an abortion if she's pregnant. And then there's just like tons and tons of tweets about this. Mm. So I couldn't figure it out what's going on. Well, let's go to our resident uh, analyst here. Um, who's Zach Campbell? Let's see what he has to say here. Everybody picking up the call. <laughs> is everybody picking up the call? Yes, it is. Okay, everybody picking up the call. Okay. This is my third time calling, y'all. Okay? This call would have been out way earlier. Oh, we, for, oh, he, we should have done voicemails at the end. Just kidding. It was a joke. Uh, <laughs> if I would have loved the first two, well, the first, the main one, I filmed two, the first one I didn't really love. The All right, let's one. get into it, dude. What What are we doing here? I'm kind of enjoying him trying to figure out what he's going to, I mean, like, what does this mean? He, his So his, his plan or his, like, the way his show goes, it's a phone call where he phone calls the audience. It's a good bit. Yeah, I think it's a funny bit. We should start like that. We need to do, this guy's all done up, right? Mm -hmm. And he's got his hair all set up. He's got makeup on and he's like, he's, the lighting is all like, we haven't put in this much effort. No, I know that's right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no, but that, you know, applaud, applaud him there. Yeah. What's going to be the one that came out, which if you want to see it, I'll put it on Patreon. It's my first initial reaction of all the drama and everything that's happening and all that stuff, bitch. It was quite a key, actually. If you want to see Teeth that. Teeth are very first white. Link yeah. You know, there's a little bit of Matt Rife teeth going on. Bitch is a very volatile word, right? Like, he said bitch so low, though, I almost didn't hear it. But yes, yeah. you're right. It's it's like you could either, it's a good douching word. You know what I mean? Like you could, you yes. could do somebody good with a bitch like I do off air, you know? <laughs> you or me saying bitch, way different than him, I think. Yeah, yeah It's bitch. like part of his, like, the way he, if, I have a feeling that he says bitch a lot and it doesn't mean it. Like, yeah. It doesn't mean like in a... Even though when we say bitch, we don't really a lot, we don't really mean it either, but it comes yeah. off harsher. Yeah. Right? Yeah, there's there's a softness to some people's bitch. Yes. You well, know what I mean? Yeah. He has a softness, and I think he he gets away with it probably more than we would. He says some bitch. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't even try it. Like, I can't. Do, you can't do yeah. it. You can't do it. He says some bitch. It's when just that guy has a harshness to it every time I do it. When you, yeah, when you are able to do it softly, that means it's different. Yeah, <laughs> different. dude. Hawk bitch, duck bitch, dude. Here we go. <laughs> Description below. She's up there, full and raw, girl. We shut the shut the the cameras and stuff down for the day. I actually was done filming, and then I. You know, I'm not understanding what's going on in this either. This is like an extension of these tweets. Yeah, sort of rambling and like, um, not full sentences, and it's hard to it's it's like watching. I don't know, like a Christopher Nolan movie or it's something. It's like watching, I was just going to, it's like watching Oppenheimer, but in French. You know what I mean? <laughs> you don't know what happens in English sometimes, and then. 
Sometimes I understand some of it, but overall, it would take me a while to sort of like digest it and yeah. figure out what it what he's trying to say. Yeah. So they're making yeah. a big bed bug. <laughs> and had a um, a blunt. Just got to thinking more. And after I saw the um, the hiss music video, when I usually film, I'm kind of off social media for those hours that I'm filming. So I didn't see anything that was going on. Right. So I'm still under the impression that you know everybody's buzzing over the book, the Bigfoot, and like the get up on your good foot comments. Which let me before I get to that. Right. I feel like before people I get to are. That. And this is important. Um, <laughs> before I get to that. Is this Augustina or what is the name? August? <laughs> this is the child of August Alcina and um, Jada. Jada Pinkett Smith. Yeah. <laughs> this is what you get. <laughs> I mean, yeah. He, this guy seems like he could be on Red Table Talk. Yeah. Why not? Mm-hmm. Are picking sides. People are choosing sides. People are being derogatory to each girl in this, which is interesting and i want to start this off where i don't like how sensitive we have become female hip-hop is not the same as it used to be it Mm. has almost diluted Mm. itself down to being (laughs) just the pretty girl shake some ass get you a rich man you know if he ain't no rich (laughs) nigga, i can't do nothing it's it's gotten down to that because that's what no if he ain't no rich nigga, i can't do nothing that's awesome yeah that, that's, I mean, a lot of making me laugh is just cadence, I think. Yeah. And, and that was good. Well delivered. Yeah. It's it's gotten down to that because that's what sells in the media. That is what, that's what is selling right now. So I completely understand why that's working. Don't get me wrong. However, comma, she has gotten. I mean, does the phone call thing really help the video? I don't get it. Like, no. The aesthetic is a phone call. Maybe you have to like watch more of his stuff to understand. Yeah. Because like. You know, you, if you watched us, you may not understand ever heard of it right oh, yeah. away or yeah. all the I duck and it, hawk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you still don't. <laughs> or duck and hawk stuff. But yeah. he, uh, you know, so maybe that's a, he, he's a. Just to drop 30 seconds at the beginning to be like, the phone didn't go through. The phone call was like, it blocked us up, but this and that. <laughs> yeah. <I don't laughs> it's just like, dude, to get into the story. I mean, <laughs> you know. Yeah, dude. I think if we had him on though, I mean, he seems like he'd be a hilarious person to interview. Oh, yeah. He's very like animated it would mean i think i'm definitely slower and more uh introverted and you're a little bit extroverted but neither of us are like like christian is like a non-stop mm-hmm. talking or whatever i feel like this guy would be like that yeah if there was a lull he'd be like and another thing is and then and this part's very important. and he would he would make us laugh because he would do that you know the you got no man or whatever he <laughs> yeah, just did yeah, yeah. that would definitely make me laugh every time <laughs> <laughs> um this he looks like if Will Smith got slapped by Chris Rock, because <laughs> the hair goes up. No, I'm just like this is what would happen to Will Smith. Oh, you become like a little yeah. less, yeah. Uh, or I don't know how to describe. You become. Why do you think this? Why Why do you think being slapped makes you this? It's just the feeling. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have anything to. Fair enough. Fix. I'll cut that part out. Let's see. Us to. <laughs> well, I mean, she, I mean, that genre of rap, female hip hop has gotten us to this point of when real bars are thrown out there, everybody is sensitive. And I hate to be this girl, but th- another volatile wor- word, you know, like I can't use the word girl, right? Like, right. Yeah. It, it, it could be get you could do in a, in a few scenarios i was at this open mic the other day this girl went on stage you know what i mean it's just it sounds weird at yeah. our age girl yeah yeah, yeah a no, female comic approached the stage even that like, sounds weird yeah, you can't you right. can't say anything yeah it, like no, no i'm not saying like you can't say anything these days i'm yeah. just the way of of saying woman or fe- there's always like you know it's all, it, it can come off weird yeah somehow and then he could be like this bitch got on stage like and it's fine but if yeah. i say this fucking I bitch got on saying. stage yeah. dude Female comic is so long, yeah. right? But I like I like saying I don't think it's weird. I like saying female comic. But you have way less of a chance of crashing the plane when you're landing, right? If you yeah. say female comic, because it sounds like oh he is he's sensitive to us and this and that kind of thing. Yeah, I could be wrong. I'm not trying to speak for anyone here. The way I the say woke's it, meeting the wall right now. <laughs> the way, yeah, like that's what yeah. you, when you tune in this podcast. I mean, this is what you expect. Yeah. The woke just crashed into the wall. TRX, mm-hmm. daddy, boom, <laughs> boom. Um, the way I do it is like. I'll say, usually I'll just say comic, but when I say female comic, it's because I'm specifically talking about female comics in general. Like, I remember, you remember the one tweet where I was like, 
you'll you'll be telling a female comic something bad that happened to you or your family, and they always have something worse. Like of those, she'll be like, "Oh yeah." Like uh, my dad forgot my first name when he was asking me for money kind of thing. Like they have like the worst stories. Yeah. So I feel like if you're talking about women doing comedy in general, female comic is fine, but they may gadoosh you if you're just like, oh yeah, you're a female comic. It's yeah. like, no, I'm a comic. Yeah. I'm not a duck. I remember I was asking somebody for advice on how to talk about female comics and mm. they told me like, dude, say whatever you want. The wokes meet in the wall. Call them bitches. Call them girls. <laughs> and that's just my dad's advice. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, yeah, that, that what Gerardo was doing there is the classic. Uh, we've been making fun of this for a while. Open micers, they do like, they'll say something w- crazy and they'll be like, That's just what my mom said. <laughs> All right, they'll say something like really off the wall and they'll be like, Thanks, mom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're, we've had enough of that. Yeah, and then uh, the, this last iteration that we heard was parents. And that's my that's what my parents think. <laughs> yeah, so both your parents think you're a duck. And I just shot you a look. I was like, yeah, that guy was terrible. Um, yeah, but that, I mean, that's Raccoon Tweeties is where mom and dad jokes meet the wall. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. All right, let's keep going. The way my fave, my queen is going on and about right now, listing her account. Another word, dude. I don't want, I'm sorry for if I keep stopping it for these minuscule things, but I can't call a woman a queen, right? So here's when I, ironically, I think it's kind of funny sometimes. Now, you anything you do, you someone's going to gadoosh you, yeah. right? We've, if you learn that, you could even be a perfect human being like Brennan Schaub, and yeah. someone will find something to yeah. criticize you for. But that's neither here nor there. What I do is, as ironically, and I think it's funny, I don't know if other people think it's funny, but sometimes in tweet exchanges with, with uh, fe- women I know in comedy. Female I'll, comics. Female comics. <laughs> women I know doing comedy. <laughs> I'm like genderized like pronouns, you know, like like what are your female comic pronouns? (laughs) They should have different pronouns. That would be great. Crazy bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Now, um, so I'll I'll say uh, jokingly, I'd be like, they'll say something like, "Oh, I don't know if like I did too good tonight," and I'll just write "girl," and then like (laughs) shit like that, or like they'll say they'll give me some like they'll drop off something or whatever, and or like help me out in some way and I'll just sort of like, oh, you dropped this. And yeah. Like the queen oh. thing. So I'm mimicking what other people do. I'm not making fun of them really. I'm just like ironically saying it. Yeah. Because it's I think it's funny for me to do it. Now I may come off like the white guy in Abbott Elementary School. I have never watched that show, but my Gen Z staff has told me about it. There's yeah. like a white dude with red hair who does like really cringe like Gen Z stuff or whatever. Yeah. And they've told me sometimes I'm like that guy. But to me, I think it's funny to be like that guy. Can I tell you something really yeah. quick? Because I appreciate what you do for the community. Of <laughs> thank, thank you. Women that don't have penises that are also doing comedy. Right? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, that's one. That's another way yeah. to say it. Um, like you say all the time, real G's move in silence, like lasagna, right? Right. But real hawks fly loudly with satire, dude. No cap. No cap. That, I agree. I agree with everything you just said. So just keep going, Queen. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. I can say See, it. that's I funny. Say it. Like that. Yeah. You drop or you go, you drop this queen. Yeah. Or you drop. Um, what's it? Girl, like the the girl thing makes me laugh. <laughs> yeah. I don't really say it out loud usually. Yeah. I'll I'll only do that out loud if it's like close friends and they know where I'm coming from. Yeah. Because if I was in like a group of people I didn't know and I was just like girl, they would be like, all right, now you're Matt Rife, dude. Yeah. You know, or like Schultz. <laughs> That's what Schultz does. Schultz. Well, he does. He doesn't. There's no. It seems like there's not a whole lot of filter. I'm guessing between. Yeah. And this is kind of interesting, but he's there's no filter between what he does with his close friends and what he does on the show. Now, it could be not that. It could be that when he's with his close friends, he's very white. You know, he's like, yeah, man, the show is great today. And I just think you guys all did a really good job. You know, I'm clocking out. I'm going to head home. And then <laughs> Alex goes, girl, you did great today, Ak- Akash. <laughs> his voice is just, he keeps it up 24-7. Yeah. He's a method actor of being cringe. <laughs> He's a method cringe actor. But no, Schultz, like, outside of it, he's like, oh, I think I'm, what, they're like, what'd you do to say? Schultz? Oh, you know, I went to Starbucks and just played around on my laptop for a while. And then I did some Slack messages and, you know, and then he gets on the show. What up, y'all? Yo, shit. Akash is bitch ass. <laughs> motherfucker doing that shit again, motherfucker. <laughs> and then it's Alf, you know. Hey, you know, guys, it's getting late. Why isn't there, go home early today, you know. See your family. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. He takes off his, he has a top hat. 
<laughs> tap shoes. He taps home. Yeah, he, ta- he does tap like yeah. he's Fred Astaire. <laughs> his, he's Fred Astaire, and his wife is Ginger Rogers at home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I can't say queen. Another a couple other words that are not gender specific, but they are they are involve gender in a way. Mm. I can't say bruh, like I without. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. I can't Dude. do it. Uh, yeah, or keep going. And then another one is foo. I can't say foo. I think you can. You can't say it. I, I, I say I it all I the can. time, but I get gadoosh for saying foo. I'll admit that I said, oh, you get gadoosh too? Yeah. Oh, one time, the one time I said fool to Luis, yeah. he he called me out on social media for it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. I don't think I meant it like he, I think I just, well, I don't remember. I may have been just totally cringe at the time. Yeah. But I, it was funny. But what happens with you? Uh, I say foo. And people put F U. Like instead of F O O, they say, why do you say it like this? Foo. Oh, you spell it out. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I say it. When I say it on a podcast, there was this whole, there was Foo Game. Foo Game. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Like, okay. uh, I posted a clip and <laughs> apparently the content didn't matter hmm. because it got X amount of hundreds of thousands of views, hmm. but every single comment was like, why does he say foo like that? Interesting. Yeah. Damn. And dude, so that so, yeah. really lived in my head rent free girl for yeah. a long while. That would that would definitely would make like the whole food community was like, nah, yeah. man. Not you he's not food, one you don't of our pass. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't I can't be Hilarious, like dude. Like, how do you say it right? What's up, foo? Like I say foo with a U. I can't help it. Yeah, well maybe it's just yeah, there were some words. It's honestly well, now that you've realized that and mm-hmm. you've stopped doing it, that shows maturity. I didn't stop being. Oh, okay. You're trying to get there. You're mm-hmm. trying to learn how to what, do you're it. you're saying the F word? <laughs> what? Like, hey, what's up, my F word? You know? Oh, I mean? f- like fuck? No. With oh, oh, the other. Yeah. Oh. Um, I mean, I don't know. I think, I mean, you're Latino. I'm a white guy, so who, who knows? But like, if you, since you're Latino, shouldn't you be able to say foo? Nah, foo. See, that's good. That's better. Nah, okay. foo. But I say like, what's up, foo? Like, I don't know. I you just, say, okay. I can't do it. I can't do it, bro. <laughs> you know? you got to go to back to, you got to hang out with, um, you know, our friends, Alfred and mm-hmm. Christian and get, like, yeah. have them teach you. Yeah. Have Jesus sit you down. Yeah. And you guys practice in the, in the green room before you go up. <laughs> He's like, no, don't worry about the set tonight. Get food down. <laughs> if you want to keep touring, you got to be able to <laughs> say and have no one question it. Yeah. Like, when you... Like you walk into the room with other Latino comics, like an undercover cop, you know, until you're, you got to pretend to do foo. <laughs> yeah. And then they, then they, okay, he's not wearing a wire. Yeah. You know? Um, so I just, I, I'm conscious of these things. Oh yeah. And it's important, I think, to continue being myself, dog. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I think that's what the authenticity, that's my main criticism. Yeah. It's missing with some of these people. Now, I mean, they're probably, that's probably the case with everybody, but it's more, Apparent with people like Schultz and Rife, because it's like, what are you? You're so fake. Game monster? everything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's just the worst bit ever. But yeah, you're so fake that I can't get over it. Mm-hmm. My bullshit meter goes off. Yeah, too 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 hard to uh, you know continue uh, consuming your content. <laughs> that's not funny. I was just clapping for you. I had to hit the chair for it though. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Accomplishments, how Pink Friday 2 is selling. And now on Station Head, this website called Station Head, currently going off and like spilling tea, quote unquote. Oh, yeah. An- sorry, but another yeah. one, dude. Yeah, well, spilling tea, the reason that you wouldn't do that is because you're just older than that. Yeah. And also it's outside your culture. Yeah. But again, ironically, I will have fun with my staff because they are like, They'll they talk like that. They'll like spill the tea and all that stuff. So I will jokingly. Now you can, you can run into problems there. Cause dude, I, if I, I ever come up to you and I say, "What's the tea?" Slap me as hard as you can, dude. Yeah, I would never do that. Yeah. It. The, I remember when I was working at Hulu. There's a. I. I think. Oh yeah. It. Our, one of our friends, Opie. Mm. You know, uh, he also worked there. And Alec Madru. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, he worked there before me, and. uh and uh, so what happened, there was this really cringe dude, very nerdy white dude. And he would, when he was around Opie, he would go, bruh. <laughs> and he was like, try, he looked like fucking, uh, what's that? He looked like Toby. Do you know Toby Mirasanu? No, I don't. He looked exactly like that guy who's like the engineer white dude. From, and he would, he would go, bruh, <laughs> around Opie. And Opie did not like that. So that I live in fear of doing that to my staff. Yeah. 
So I know I try as hard as I can, not, but I wouldn't do it anyway. Yeah. But when they're talking like that jokingly, and I make sure that they know it jokingly, sometimes I'll go in like, you know, I'll say like, so-and-so we've talked about posting cringe on main before. <laughs> like, and I, they know I'm ironically, yeah. I'm not actually using that. Um, you better stop, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting so stop. close, dude. I'm like an edge lord of cringe. Like I'm get or not edge lord, but I'm like right on the edge of cringe. You know, but they, I have maybe I, there's, a, there's a good chance that my staff when they go home they all text like, "Here is the top ten cringe things Brendan did today." Yeah, <laughs> dude. I'm happy you brought it up because Opie yeah. the other day we went to an open mic with him. Mm. Great comic, never seen him, but mm. he, uh, I, I fucking did cringe myself, dude. What did you do? So he came up to me and said, uh, good work today and gave oh. me a knock. <laughs> right. And I was like, it, it means a lot to me. I'm mm-hmm. like, what the fuck? But I said, thank you, bro. And then I went, and then I said, uh, good to see you, bro. But the way I said, bro, both times. Oh, you said bro wrong. <laughs> no, I was just aggressive. Like I, it felt oh. aggressive, but oh, okay. I was like, I was like, like, this is cool. But in my head, I, in my afterwards, I was like, dude, he came up to me and said, good work, dude. I'm like, dude, that means so much. Well, I said bro twice. Why did I say bro twice? He's not my brother. I mean, okay. Yeah, I, I mean, said bro all you, the time. You know how you say it. So yeah. maybe you said it cringe that one time. There's so many pitfalls of yeah. being a man. <laughs> dude, <laughs> as a man. Trying to, the, yeah. this should be called raccoon etymology, dude. Yeah. I think, because I do, so, people can take how you say things wrong, but really it's like you say all the time. It's really how you are. Is, is that... So, it, you know, it's how you mean it. Because yeah. I, a lot of times when I'm talking to dudes, other hawks, I say, thanks, bro, or yeah, bro. So I use their term bro for who, whatever whatever race the person is, or age, really. I'll, a lot of times I'll be like, bro. And I think, norm, or brother, which I, which it, some people may take that wrong, but I mean it just like with everybody. Yeah. I'm not, Schultz does it in a way that's like so over the top cringe. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to, like, just like like the Hulu guy. He's like this nerd social media dude, and he's he'll be, like, talking to us and be like, bruh, mm. or he'll say bruh yeah. on the chat. Yeah. And it's like, you're our boss, and you're writing B-R-U-H. Yeah. And we don't even really know each other. Mm-hmm. Definitely not that close. So that's, like, way more cringe than you just seeing Opie's, like, good work, and you go, thanks, bro. But it was, like I said, I was like, thank you, brother. Bro, thank you, bro. Yeah. I, I appreciate that, bro. Yeah. And this is, this is another thing. I don't think I said I appreciate that, but I was thinking about this term that's used typically in, with people that are not me. But uh, I appreciate you, mm. right? It is more of a hood term. Appreciate you kind of thing, right? i mm. saying that after mm. you ask for something or something like that or being yeah. like, no, I'm all right. I appreciate you kind of thing. Right. I want to say that so bad because every time I see it or hear it, I'm like, that is such a nice thing to say. You can yeah. basically get away with anything. I appreciate you, female comic. Right? I, yeah, I see that. I mean, part of it is like you get what your sayings are from who you've been around for yeah. a long time. So with with I appreciate, I don't say appreciate you because I usually will say appreciate it. Oh. And I think that's because like, People like maybe my dad and the, mm. and the brother thing when I'm like, thanks, brother. That comes from like probably Massachusetts being around like the New England thing and like hearing people say that. So that's why that probably comes up. But it's funny that we could do shop so much <laughs> for doing what we're exactly saying right now. Just kind of like taking the other things and then it kind of like gets into your head. Yeah. And also it's a little bit unconscious. Those are sort of throwaway lines. Yeah. I think the problem is when you're just like, it's your whole personality or you're putting on a show for people when yeah. it's not you. Yeah. yeah. You're not keeping it a hundred. You're not keeping it one hundred. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Period T dude. Yeah. A thousand. A thousand. Only a thousand people have that accent. <laughs> and then, uh, I know this is just all about sayings and whatnot. Right. Mm. Uh, I can't do it's giving. No. Dude, when that that's happens, I think to myself, like, where are we at? Like that's, that's what are we doing here? That's when I get into the woke meets the wall thing, dude. I'm like, society is downfalling, dude. It's giving to me it, that belongs to certain communities. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not for me. Yeah. I'm not, I don't, I don't have fake nails. You have to have fake nails. It's giving, you know what I mean? It's giving Cooney vibes. (laughs) Nobody's ever said that. Yeah. No, that probably not. Not yet. (laughs) 
I mean, ironically, again, though, I feel like someday I'll be able to use it ironically. Mm. I haven't haven't been able to yeah. do it yet. Yeah. But, you know, I feel that coming in a text uh, a text chat. Yeah. One time when, when you hit that girl, your brain's going to go, it's giving, and then you're saying mm-hmm. something else. Yeah. Right. I mean, I'm sure that when the, when the Vince McMahon thing comes up again in the group chat, I feel an it's giving coming soon. <laughs> I'm probably going to say something. It's giving to Leah. <laughs> Me, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who knows? Does he pooped on people? Do we? <laughs> Duh, I'm sorry that I fucking pooped on you, dude. But I think you fucking like that, okay? <laughs> All right, let's see what he has to say. Even my girl is getting sensitive. Let me backtrack because because I don't want people to get this misconstrued. I completely gagged over the get up on your good foot gagged uh, line. It's a rude. Yeah, gagged. I have never used, but that's another word that's sort of like. Outside of my wheelhouse. Yeah, I'd rather just say slob on my knob. But that's not what gag means, dude. You know, you know what it means. You know that's <laughs> what it means. Gag doesn't mean that. <laughs> I don't Line. even know what gag means, really. Gagged. Like he was going to throw up. No. Is that what it means? Let's see. You got to go to Urban Dictionary. Because I don't want people to <laughs> get this misconstrued. I completely gagged over the... No, I don't think that's what it Get up on your good foot. Oh, okay, so what he's Line. saying is... It, it's basically like him saying, like, I was into it, right? Yeah. I think that's what it means. It's like saying my dick got hard. I think that's, well, yeah. yeah. Like the way Shab would say. Yeah, yeah boner alert. Yeah, it's, it's based, gagged as boner alert. <laughs> <laughs> gagged alert. <laughs> gagged alert. <laughs> this guy's great. Yeah. I like this guy. It's a rude line. It's rude. Oh, it's rude. Oh, it's iconic and rude. I'm sorry. It was. I'm sorry, hotties. It was hilarious. However, comma. Dude, those earrings that are mag- wild. Those uh, are some big earrings. Yeah. He's got, there's like multiple pieces to him. It's a very loud outfit, even yeah. though there's black. <laughs> like he's wearing black, but it's very loud. Definitely. He's loud, even though it's only a t-shirt. Yeah. He has found a way to be loud with any like goofy shot. Shav is loud based off like colors and hats and yeah. weird shit. And he's loud just like his his whole, the face, the hair, the <laughs> earrings is very loud. And the teeth and the lips. Yeah. He did. He's got something on it. Mm-hmm. The mustache. It's law line. Because <laughs> that's not the only thing, though. And I think that we're getting that misconstrued too for the for my barbs. That for my barbs. Yeah, I don't know barbs. Hmm. Should we urban dictionary that one? Sure. No. Okay. Yeah. Barbs. Here's my guess. I think barbs is probably a fan of one of them. Or that he went to flappers. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, I think barbs probably means that they're fans of Nicki Minaj or fans of. Um, Megan the Stallion, loser <laughs> laugh. I ran one of those this morning. <laughs> Barbs. I didn't. I haven't run in five uh, years. Nicki Minaj. Yo, I just love all my fans. I, you are my Barbs. There you go. See, I was right. Oh, so it's like uh, Barbies. Oh, I didn't. Oh. All right. We're learning, dude. Fair you know enough. what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so next time we talk about females that do comedy also. Barbs. Be like, there was a Barb on stage. That sounds so nice. That would get you. Oh, yeah, you can't you're call right. women Barbies. Yeah, you can't do that. Don, we if we've learned nothing from Don and my with Don Geronimo is that you can't do that. <laughs> was crazy. First of all, because that's so direct. It's so direct. Because nobody else has any other affiliations with s offenders. I'm trying to make sure YouTube don't flag me, guru. A lot of other people oh. don't have that much correlation with those type of people. Don't get shadow banned. So yeah. the only person we know is. So it was so direct, but that wasn't the only thing. He's not going to get bad- to a point, I don't think. Um, I'm willing to see though, because I'm. I, if strangely, I'm learning a lot about stuff I didn't come here for. Yeah, we're getting schooled on a lesson that we weren't ready for. We didn't. We, you know, what we did. We missed the assignment. Whoa, dude, <laughs> you are going to make it way further than me in life, dude. Seriously. <laughs> You understand this shit? Did I drop anything? Oh, you <laughs> dropped your... Here you go, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this just means you dropped your crown. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Let's see. That bitch. But the <laughs> okay, one- that one was harsh. That was a little harsher, yeah. But that wasn't the only thing. I'm a bad bitch. Oh, okay. Mm. But the walls ain't bending. Woo. Well, woke well, at the wall, yeah. Um, this is something I, I will always find funny, dude. Mm. I know we're a little over time right now, but this is so worth it. Mm. Um, there's this one uh, Jewish rapper, uh, I think BLP Kosher. 
and I was, me and Miguel, shout out Miguel, mm -hmm. right? We got into a heated debate about whether or not he's good. Yeah. But really, we just found ourselves. He's more of a bars, as they say in the community. Uh, he's more uh, closely associated with bars, and I am more like beat vibe. I see. Right? You're right. And so watching <laughs> his face right there, dude, <laughs> that, he's a bars guy. Because when you see a bar, right. you go like this. <laughs> he's a lyrics guy. Yeah. Yeah. And I am more of a, like, I don't give a, I fucking laugh when somebody sees a bar. You know right, what I mean? Right, right, right. And you're more a bars guy, you know what I mean? Like the yeah, body in the casket was an op, yes, right? Yes, yes. And then you, what is the face you make? Oh, uh, I'm like, oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah the body in the casket was an op. Ooh. So much drip, I need a mop. Ooh. Oh, Boom. Brandon Cooney born with the wop. You a have wop? A, a wet ass yeah, pussy? Yeah, you have a wet ass pussy. Hey, man. <laughs> Be cool, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of females that do comedy, we have Brendan Cooney. <laughs> hey, yeah, I, I have a <laughs> vagina. <laughs> okay, but what do you? You're more of a bars guy. Um, it's a tough question, man. Yeah, I'm not good at uh, picking what I like the most out of two things. If I really like the two, I, I, I mean, I guess some, I'm, sometimes I really like. It depends on the the kind of music, like Metro. What you call it? MF Doom. Mm -hmm. Like that's heavy on the lyrics and that's yeah. why you like it so much, so too much or so much soul or more. What is it? More soul than a sock with a hole. Pretty good. Okay. But, um, I was, although we were talking about how much I like Metro Boomin. Um, but then again, I like Metro Boomin a lot because the beginning of this, the songs always start with Metro Boomin once some more. Oh, okay. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Or Mike so will made it. So you're a little bit of a hybrid. Yeah. You, you like the vibe of the producer credit. Right. And, but then you like the bars of the rapper on the beat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this guy was, there's a lyric by BLP Kosher and he said something like smoking on that pack uh, and Frank. Right. It was like some sort of World War II reference. Mm -hmm. And when he heard it, his face went. <laughs> and that to me will always be funny. That's how I feel whenever Shab drops a new Shab and Ease thing. Like there we go. These are delicious. We should start saying bars, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Bars. Bars. Sh sharbs. Sharbs. Um, every time Shab drops a new one, I feel like Scarface hearing that song by Kanye West for the first time. Mm. You mean the documentary? Or yeah. Cudi. Or Cootie? Cootie. Cootie. His name's Kid Cootie? No, it's like Cootie. Cause oh, I, it's a different rapper. You know how I got... No, it's the guy that directed the movie. Oh, okay. You know Cootie? No. And Kanye is like, fuck Cootie, because he's mad about the documentary now. Net and Yahoo. <laughs> yeah, Net and Yahoo. <laughs> Um, cause Cootie sounds like Cooney. Mm. So people joke around. They, someone sent me the video where Kanye West is like ranting about, and they don't, they don't listen to me. And with their, none of y'all get what I'm saying. Y'all just here cause I'm famous. Fuck you and fuck Cootie. Oh. And then they were like, what did you do to Kanye? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Barface. See, when I say I like hip hop, when I say I'm, I love hip hop, Mm. And I love female hip hop. This is what I mean. And because I, the only reason why I tweeted Nikki first is because I was gagging at her on live. I was really truthfully in the moment gagging at her. Like, bitch, I can't believe you're airing this out mm. on a live right now when you could make, you know, okay, make us a record. I thought a record was maybe going to come out this morning. Like maybe follow it up. Maybe it will come out tonight while I'm filming this. I don't know. That's why maybe I'll make a part two. If Gagging is such an aggressive term. Um. Yeah, I guess, I mean, I guess if you're gagging on something that you really like it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gagging on T-Fat K, dude. They're all every time. Every seven, seven days, days a week. week. <laughs> More job. The other line about Megan saying, uh, you and other niggas hood looking like a bad bitch or like a bad bitch. Saying like, also, I don't know if y'all remember back in the day, maybe like around the VMA, it was the VMA night. When Nikki's husband got into it with Offset and his crew, and then they went to Offset's crew offsets friends hood and was outside mm. of the apartment waiting for them to come out i don't know if i remember that but that was a thing no. that was a story mm. i actually remember talking about this a little bit making a um a call about this you got to catch it when he is essentially the this world to him is this uh the subreddit to us yeah he's way in way deep yeah. you know he's like the haphazard of the Nicki minaj world he's a barb mm -hmm. barb hazard yeah haphazard makes a lot of calls to tfat k mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying he does yeah. the call thing <laughs> yeah <laughs> Exactly. Supply. And like she said on when she called into the Breakfast Club, she said, uh, a shot dog will holla. I said, they, these are facts, girl. These are facts. These are facts. Okay. I can't say facts, dude. Facts is annoying. Yeah, I don't really like that. I've seen, I've seen somebody with a shirt that said facts. 
Mm. You know who? Ben Shapiro, dude. Oh, yeah. In this new video. Yeah. yeah. Check that out, Hawks. <laughs> yeah. I wish we could go into that, but we're, I don't fucking, know. we're way over time. I love the fact that Nikki got on live. Bitch, you got me. Hold on, Miss Girl. Miss Little Girl. You know what I mean? Like, bitch, okay, 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 okay. Like, okay, girl. Hold on. When Nikki came on. <laughs> See, there's something about, like, the vibe of it where he can yeah. say these things. It makes sense for him to like, say it, not us. Maybe I, maybe I could do that. When I go to, like, open mics, be like, bitch, that joke was funny. And everybody like, go like this. Yeah, I mean, the, the line, I guess open mics are looking for the line, you know. Yeah. You may not know what's cringe until you do it. Yeah. And people are too reactionary now, I think. It's like, okay, I fucked up, I was cringe, but, like, I won't do it again. Mm -hmm. Is that enough? No. Now you're cringe forever. What if I say, uh, all right, let's just really quick. Mm -hmm. The situation is I'm complimenting a joke by a woman that is female and doing comedy, right? Right. And I say, girl. In the process of doing comedy. Yeah. In sure the, that, sorry be about offensive, that. Yeah. Yeah. Girl, I saw, bitch. I see, I can't, I'm like, see, it's lost. so long. She's going to think you're having an epileptic event. Oh, she's going to be worried about your <laughs> girl. Eh. And she's like, I, Gerardo had a event with like some sort of weird thing. I'm worried about him last night. Maybe that's, maybe that's what gay is, is like epilepsy, you know? Uh, okay. No, it's not girl, <laughs> girl, bitch. I, you did that joke and I'll tell you right now, no cap. The woke met the wall. And and then going, yeah, I can't. I don't know where else to go. I would love to see you do this and yeah. see what the girl's reaction was to it. Mm. No yeah. cap, girl, bitch. You'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> Gerardo has been banned from the fourth wall. <laughs> oh, shout out fourth wall, dude. Gerardo was banned from the Barkley, dude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's let's go a couple of voicemails real quick. Yeah. There's a couple of short ones. I want to finish this video though. I really do. We could do part two next week. Part two, nah. Okay. It's either now or never be. Okay. But let's, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, let's do these voicemails. I know we got a couple from last week. If you want to leave us a voicemail, the phone number will probably be in the live chat. And it's 775-557-8667. That's 775-557-TMOS. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see here. Um, let's see. Hey, I have thoroughly enjoyed you guys. Uh, I really enjoyed to get to see you guys stand up. I love Tim and Shab, love Raccoon Tweeties. It's just, uh, you guys are just freaking hilarious. Uh, also, uh, I just did really enjoy you guys because I've always wanted to do stand up, but I never had the balls to do it. You guys got the balls to do it. I've thought about trying to hit the open mic nights around my house here just to, uh, <laughs> say I've done I can't tell my kids to chase their dreams if I'm too big of a pussy to chase my own dreams so um, I would love to chat or, or, or get some you know whatever from you guys uh, advice or some, some kind of okay so he drops his phone number and name after that but okay um, go for it what's your, some advice I mean we've we've talked a lot about words that you can and can't use this episode <laughs> so take that for what it is yeah, I mean, um, my first advice would be never ask advice of an open micer because mm. uh, it's a bad idea. Yeah, I mean, I, if I was farther, if I was more successful, then I give you, you know. But I'll tell you anyway, since you asked, for, you have to ask for it. And you asked. I would say the only good advice that's in indisputable, and I'm going to be, and this is important. I'm going to mm. be. This is not going to be a joke. Ooh. Eight inches. No, I, <laughs> you know it's real when you say. Yeah, I'm going to. I'll be serious. Um, just do an open mic. Uh, tell your friends to come so you have an audience there. Don't. What are you doing, dude? No, I'm dead serious. Because you want some supportive. Do a mic. Get your friends to come. That's like less important. But definitely just do the mic. And then the third. And this is indisputable truth. When you do the set, remember to take the microphone out and move the mic stand away. Because okay. new people, they're what they do. I mean, well, you can take it out or leave it in. Those are those yeah. are fine. You can leave it in, but if you take it out, move the mic stand yes. to the side. Yes. So many times when people start, they stand behind the mic stand, and it's right in front of you, and it looks like very rookie move. Yes, and it also blocks you, so people are looking at the mic stand instead of you, and you just look nervous. Always remember, move, be a hawk, yes, not a duck, yes. 
Those are my, that's my advice to that guy. Wow, Thanks I'm surprised calling. you made it real. Because when you said bring your friends, I'm like, this guy is good douching a fan right now, dude. No, I, I brought my friends and they laughed. If you don't bring your friends, you might just bomb horribly and it'd be terrible. And that can work too, dude. This is my advice, all right? Okay, that's here. And I'm being serious. I'm not, I can do a bit right now, whatever, you know. I couldn't think of a bit, but also since he asked, I yeah. feel like being, why not be serious? My advice, dude, it's going to be the hardest thing. Two things are the hardest thing to do, and it happens to every open micer in my experience, right? Mm. Um, do not think about how many people are there. That's always going to happen. Mm. It's going to feel pointless if there's two people in the room, but it's not. And if you can make those two people laugh, boom, that's one piece of advice. Second, don't comment on how you're doing. Yeah, comics will do that. Like, oh, he liked that joke, but they're experienced. When you first start out, just do your jokes and see what the fuck happens. To try, it's very hard to try not to comment on how you're doing when you're starting. Hmm. Okay. That's my advice. And my, then also move the fucking mic. Yeah. And then make sure that you're one of the a thousand and not just a civilian. God damn it. You know, you got, that's very important. I complimented your advice. You didn't say shit about mine, dude. Well, I don't agree. I don't, I don't agree with either of the things you said. Really? Why yeah. is that? Cause I don't that. Well, the first one is like how many people are there. That's like very start in LA specific. Because in other places, there's probably going to be people there. LA, LA is one of the LA. Maybe New York is one of the few places where the open mic is going to have like no one there. Like in this slotted thing is pretty new still, like where people pay. So that's why there's nobody there. So I, and that's not something I would. That's not something I thought about it. And then your other thing was don't comment on it. I think if you just start out and your joke bombs. It's probably an easy, good thing to be like, oh, that joke sucks. Let me move on. Yeah. It's a way to transition. If you're if you're still doing that, if you're doing that at shows or something like that, that's bad. But I don't think that matters really. But you made me say that. Hey, you made me kadoosh you, bro. You brought you br hey, bro. <laughs> you, you asked me, bro. I gave you my opinion, bro. I think uh, I think it's it's not helpful to come because you know why. What? This is okay. Maybe you'll agree with me on this. Okay. I need to expound more on the second piece of advice. Like I said, I qualified it too. Mm. People do do that. Mm -hmm. But what you're trying to get is funny, right? And yeah, because then you'll just start doing that more because mm. you're getting laughs when you do that. Mm -hmm. If you like, let's say I went to the store the other day. Kiwis are five dollars. What the fuck? Right. <laughs> you're laughing because I'm an experienced comic. One of the thousand. I'm sorry. But <laughs> if they don't laugh at that. And then you go, oh, I'm so stupid. Why did I think that was funny? And that gets a laugh because other comics are in the room. They're going to laugh at that because, sure. yeah, why the fuck did you think that was funny, right? Yeah. Um, what you should do is now that you're in this space where you have a setup and a failed punchline, try to find the punchline, dude. So instead of commenting on what you just said, keep going. And if anything becomes funny, you know, you write 90% of your jokes and 10% is up to God. So when you're on stage, God is writing for you sometimes, right? Yeah, I think that's fine. I agree with that to trying to find something else that's funny. Yeah. The only reason I would say it's fine to comment on your set is because if you're doing, if let's, and you, let's say you're just starting, you're very nervous and you're bombing and you do a joke and it doesn't do well, then if you don't say anything about that to the audience, it looks like you're unaware that you're not funny, mm. which I think is can be bad. Like maybe you shouldn't care at all. It'd be great if you don't care at all what the audience thinks. But you also come off as a crazy person to them because <laughs> they're like, wow, this guy doesn't know that wasn't funny. Or is this guy OK? Yeah. That some They will literally the audience will start worrying for your safety sometimes if yeah. you're bombing bad enough. And I only say it too because it is a knee jerk reaction. So you try to yeah. get away from that knee jerk sure. reaction. That makes sense. Explore, I understand what you're saying. You yeah. know, explore yeah. the setup more. Anyways. Yeah. We're, we're fucking redacted, dude. We don't know yeah. shit about comedy. Yeah, we're comedy. talking the craft. People love that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got a short one here. Oh, let's see here. Arkansas is different, Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> Arkansas is different, Bubba. <laughs> is that it? That's, that, that's great. All right. I agree. I think that's it. He just starts breathing in the mic. Don't think fuck people. <laughs> Okay, I think the, the quick short ones are good. <laughs> yeah, dude. I like I like the short ones. Uh, let's see here. Look at you guys. <laughs> this is Tommy Jarvis, long time listener of the show. <laughs> Ever heard of me? Ever heard of me? Uh, just wanted to shout you guys out. You guys are keeping it real. Thanks for all the calm tent. You guys are my North Stars. <laughs> 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 just wanted to call and give all the 
good voice clips and whatnot. So uh, keep on doing what you're doing. Shout out the Hawks. Shout out Mr. O, Metal Sonic, Balloon Fart. Boom, boom. Great guys, never met him. Seven days a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I remember. I'm pretty sure Tommy Jarvis uses his full name in the chat, so I think I remember that. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Shout out Tommy Jarvis, dude. Good voicemail. We got two more. I have a shot of spiracy. Mm. Everything that he calls other men are the things that his wife call him. <laughs> Papa, daddy. <laughs> and he loves it so he's like you know what I'm gonna be everybody's best friend so he's just saying all the shit that his wife is saying to him to other men just my little shot conspiracy okay what do you think about that yeah and that definitely sounds uh, plausible daddy yeah like he that's I mean Shab steals or the what people say is that Shab steals a lot. Mm. So yeah, maybe his wife is actually funnier than him. True. She's just taking things that she does. Deity. <laughs> I want to. That'd be so funny if she's doing that for real. <laughs> like she is. He's like, "What's for dinner tonight?" And she goes, uh, "Chili on deity." <laughs> she says chili on wrong. Yeah, beans and cheese deity. She's the one that came up with the carne asada <laughs> bit. <laughs> All right, let's see this one. You know, it's that guy. Ready? Hot fella. This is Brian Karen's clone calling in. I was created in the early 2000s with the last chunk of Brian's mad TV money. <laughs> I live in a float tank in the secret basement underneath the TFAT K studios. I don't have much time before someone finds out I got out of the tank and stumbled over to a phone. It sounds like a lazy Michael Jackson impression. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I gotta make this quick. Even though I'm only 20 years old, they call me Rinks Jr. Because my skin is all... Pruned up from chilling in the float tank 24-7-365. They gave me a waterproof laptop, though, so I can keep myself apprised of everything happening in the TFK universe. Of course, my purpose in life is to provide Brian Kellen replacement body parts for his quickly aging alpha male physique. <laughs> the only organ he's harvested thus far is, you guessed it, my rinks junior junior, if you know what I mean. And not only does he have it, but he's I can sense the disturbance in the force every time he, you know, uses that. In fact, I can sense it's about to happen right now. In honor of that, I guess you could say my life is pretty desperate. To keep me young and fresh for Brian, I subsist entirely on a diet of AG1 green powder, which flows directly into my veins through a liquid IV drip. Well, yesterday... It's turned into Cartman. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Let's we'll see. Brendan Schaub came down here to find a sink to piss in, but he found my tank instead. Oh, no. I guess there must have been a line in the, the bathroom tank. upstairs. When he opened up the tank, I said, you got the piss on me, bro? He <laughs> said, well, I wasn't, but I said, say less, say less. Because he was already pissing by that time. <laughs> when he was done, he reached in his pocket, grabbed a fistful of fish flakes, and dumped those in the tank. I said, I ain't mad at you. <laughs> What's up? What do you mean, little dude? Daddy's on a very important phone call right now. That kitchen floor is clean. Just pick up your fork and keep yours in it. Finish your mac and cheese. I'll be in in a minute. Love you, little dude. <clears throat> so, Brendan Shaw pissed right in my face and gave me some fish sticks and went back upstairs like a sleepwalker. First solid food I ever had, I ain't mad at him. I told him it was delicious. <laughs> I pissed in that tank all day anyway. This got its own filtration system and everything. <laughs> well, it was great checking in. As long as I still have my ears, my heart, my lungs, my fingers, and my eyes, I'll be watching. <laughs> Raccoon tweeted. Now, I better get back into that tank before somebody finds out I stumbled over to this phone. I don't know. I can walk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna check and see reviews. Just like, but um. Oh wow. So, okay. What I I have thoughts on that. Do you have thoughts on that? No, go for it. So my thought is, um, great, first of all, great job. Yes. But uh, what a terrifying proposition that there's a clone of Brian Callen. <laughs> Right. Yeah. There should, be, if we really start cloning people, there should be certain people that you're not allowed to clone. Yeah. And that it's like you go to jail if you do that. And Callan Rinks is one of them. Yeah. We should be cloning George. Yeah. As many George as possible. Yeah. 
But no more Callens. Yeah. Don't clone Chin's apartment, for sure. <laughs> Too many gunshots. Yeah. We don't need more uh, Second Amendmenters in this right. world. You're right. I'll cut that right. part out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, dude, that's, there's no more reviews on Apple this week. So please go to the freaking Apple Podcast app and leave the reviews, dude. Yeah. Be a hawk. Yeah, and check out our Patreon if you're interested. What did we just do? We just did... Uh, last week, we did Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson, And yeah. I was suffering from CT, and I thought it was good. It was bad. Yeah, it was very bad. Yeah. And I rewatched the whole episode myself while door dashing, not to brag. Oh, and shit. Um, I was very disappointed with my takes on things. But I during the episode, I was like, oh, yeah, this is bad. Yeah, you realized yeah. it was bad, yeah. Uh, I went to the doctor the next day. That's true, <laughs> you know, but... Um, Cooney gadooshed me quite a bit on that episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so check that out if you want. Yeah, but that's it. All right, see you next week. Later.